ski season is going all the way till June 20th. Any chance you're going to get up there, do some skiing? You know, I snowboard, Quinn, and I would love to get out there again, but it depends on how the weather is this week. What's it look like, Lauren? You know, it looks like we're going to cool down a little bit just on Saturday. Um, I don't think we'll see any snow, maybe some rain, but I think it might be a nice weekend to hit the slopes. It'll be cooler, that's for sure. If we can look outside, you can see what the weather's been like today. It's been pretty cloudy. Uh, not too much sun peeking through those clouds, but you know, the temperature is not too bad. Right now, the temperature is 57 degrees. We're looking at the temperature rising throughout the day. We're going to hit about 74 will be our high. We've got humidity of 51% and no winds right now. So it's a nice day to be outside. Today is probably going to be the warmest we'll see in northern Utah. If we look at what's going on around the nation, we have some snow and a lot of rain along the west coast. This storm is bringing the temperatures on the west coast down about 15 degrees below the average temperature right now. And that storm is just being pushed east towards Utah. And we'll talk about how, um, how it's going to affect Utah in just a little bit. Right here in the plains, we have rain and thunderstorms and some scattered showers right here, severe thunderstorms. And if those storms get any worse, we're looking at some possible tornadoes actually in the Midwest. And here in the Northeast, you can see we also have some thunderstorms possible up there. But if we switch to our satellite map, we can see that in the next 24 hours, those storms are just going to be dispersing. And we'll be looking at if they get severe, there's actually going to be some damaging winds and hail. Um, so you'll have to watch out for that in the Northeast. But if we look closer at the West right now, we have this storm is the one that's on its way to Utah right now. In the next 24 hours, you can see it'll hit the the state of Utah about 24 hours from now and we're looking at some scattered storms tomorrow mostly on Saturdays when we'll see the rain um, but for today at least we're safe from getting any rain if we look at our highs we can see that the temperatures are kind of being affected by that storm coming in we've got the western part of the state where that storm is just moving in that's where the cool temperatures are today for Utah we have Wendover at 66 Logan at 69 Salt Lake and Provo in the 70s, low 70s. We have Provo at 74, Nephi 75. St. George, our warm spot, down at 85 degrees. And we're looking at warm weather and also dry weather. They won't be seeing that rain that we'll see up in the northern parts of the state. If we look at the forecast for the next few days, we have 85 degrees today, 87 tomorrow. It's going to cool down Friday when that storm is on the northern part of Utah, but then we'll see the coldest temperature is Saturday. It's still sunny though down in southern Utah and it warms back up for a nice Memorial Day weekend on Sunday. And as for the Wasatch, we have nice temperatures today, 76, 78 tomorrow. We're cooling down and we'll see a little bit of rain on Saturday, but it looks like our plans for Memorial Day weekend are not going to be rained out. So the big question is for, the, for Utah, jackets or sunscreen for this weekend? You know, Quinn, it kind of depends on where you're going to be. I'll be in St. George this weekend, so I'm going to be wearing sunscreen. It definitely sounds like you need to head out of town to get some warm weather this weekend. Yep. That's the plan. Got to get out and get that sun.